So today we'll be in Psalm 93. Psalm 93 is a, it's a short psalm. It only has like five verses. The author is unknown, but it's the first of a series of seven royal psalms. And they deal predominantly with uh, God's kingship or God reigning as king. And so in the opening verse, it says, The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed. He has girded himself with strength. Surely the world is established so that it cannot be moved. And right in the opening, just those three words, the Lord reigns. I mean, you know, we can have sermon after sermon about those three words. But I think back to Isaiah chapter 6 where Isaiah seen God. He seen Yahweh, Jehovah. He seen him high and lifted up, sitting upon his throne. And I personally, I love studying about um, the Theophanies and the Christophanies and, and all the pictures of, of Christ in the Old Testament. And John, he quoted in chapter 12, he quoted Isaiah uh, uh, he, a couple of times and he was connecting the prophecies and the visions that he was getting to, to Jesus. And so what I'm getting at is that when he seen Yahweh God lifted up, he actually seen the Lord Jesus in all his glory. And uh, it's just so awesome. That's the Lord. That's our Lord that reigns. And verse 1, it goes on to say that the Lord is clothed with majesty. You know, m many of us make statements by some of the things that we wear. Sometimes we might wear a jersey or a hat that, uh, you know, of our favorite team or, or something like that. And I just want to share from another psalm, Psalm 104, verses 102, just to contrast the way our Lord uh, looks how the way he's clothed so Psalm 104 verse 1 and 2 it says bless the Lord O my soul O Lord my God you are very great you are clothed with majesty you're, you're clothed with honor and majesty who cover yourself with light as with a garment who stretch out the heavens like a curtain and right outside my house there's a, a big tree a big big just majestic tree it's like gigantinormous it's a big big tree it's probably one of the biggest trees i've ever seen and every time i walk out with my kids and my wife to take a little walk i can't help but to stop and look at the at the tree and just god's creation how awesome he is and how he displays his glory through creation and so the essence of of this psalm of psalm 93 is that he's worthy to, to, to be worshipped. He's worthy to be praised. You know, a lot of times in society, the society that we live in, uh, sometimes celebrities and even entertainment and, and we worship those things and even ourselves sometimes. And so, um, you know, we, we do that more than, than worshipping the Lord that created us, you know, the one that gave his life as a ransom for us. And so in conclusion, in, in uh, verse 4, it says, The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, than the mighty waves of the sea. And the waters in the sea in scripture usually uh, represent the Gentile nations or the multitudes of, of people. But the Lord, we know that he's mightier than all the chaos. He's all the issues of life. When Satan comes against us, he's, he's mightier than all of that. And we know that our King Jesus, he calms the waves that he, as he did in the New Testament. He's the one that calmed the waves. He's mightier than any noise of the waters and we can trust him as he reigns over every aspect of our lives and he's going to be doing that forever and ever and ever god bless you